you know, this whole Zeke um, contract holdout negotiation controversy has really opened my eyes to a lot of the fuckery that goes on in society. Um, you know, as a man, you shouldn't ever really want fans. And the reason why I say that is because a fan loves you in the moment, but once you try to make a stand or fight for something, or you deter, or you, you go somewhere off, you veer off of their, you veer off the path of their expectations, you are demonized. You are looked down upon. You are frowned upon. You are basically ostracized. Ezekiel Elliott, the man, is doing something that will help secure his financial future. Okay? He plays the most dangerous position in the NFL. It has the shortest shelf life. This is perhaps the only big payday he is ever going to get in his career. And you got fans going around saying bullshit like he has two years left. He needs to honor his contract. Number one, after three years, if you've outperformed your rookie contract, you can renegotiate. That's in the collective bargaining agreement. But also, even if he wasn't allowed to do that, you should still make a stand and fight for what you are worth. The Cowboys, people like to say, oh, Jerry Jones, he cares about Ezekiel Elliott. If Jerry Jones really cares about Ezekiel Elliott, pay the man what he's worth. Do not run him into the ground, giving him 300 plus carries every year and not compensating him for it. Ezekiel Elliott could die on the field. He could get hurt on the field. And his career is over. He's done. The NFL chews up and spits out players without compensating them fairly. Ezekiel Elliott is just making a stand. And you got all these fans out here. The thing is, billionaires don't give a fuck about you. And the people who are below you, who don't make as much money as you, they don't give a fuck about you. That's the cold truth of the world. The rich people don't give a fuck about you and... The people at the bottom, they're such in a crab in a barrel mentality. They have that mentality that they'll just like eat you alive. Just because you're making more than them, they'll eat you alive. And they should say, you should be satisfied with that. You should be satisfied with your million, million Zeke. Honor your contract. No, nah, man, that's not how it works. I, I posted something about the, them cutting Dez. I posted that on my community board, and I also posted this on a, on a Cowboys uh, forum on Facebook. All these people shit talk Dez like he didn't mean anything to us. That's how quickly, that's how quick fans will turn on you. That's why you shouldn't want fans, ever. I like people who, who people who enjoy my channel, my content, I love them, that's great. But I don't ever want you to be a fan of mine because one day I'm going to do something that you're not going to like and you're going to turn on my ass. That's how it always is. They just completely turned on Des Bryant. They just, they just like, oh, he couldn't catch. He couldn't do this. He couldn't do that. This man put his life on the line every time. He played his heart out. He loved this team. And the Cowboys just cut him like that. They didn't offer him a pay cut or anything. That's why Zeke is like, listen, if I if if I get hurt, or if I if I have a downslide in my career, I'm not going to get this big payday that I want. And also, I could get cut at any moment. I am not going to be held hostage by this bullshit rookie contract. I can renegotiate. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. People have to let go of this extreme fandom team over everybody. Fuck that. I care more about Zeke as a person. That's why I get so upset when he fucks up. That's why I'm in his corner when he's asking for more money. Because I care about him as a human being. I care about the human being first, then the team. It's called empathy. It's called sympathizing with your fellow man.
That's what it is. And you fucking boot bitch ass cowboy fans. I'm a cowboy fan and I'm calling you a bitch ass cowboy fan. Y'all don't give a fuck about anybody but yourself. That's it. This shit is pissing me off. Because you don't give a shit about the man. You are rooting for a damn billionaire over a man who's putting his life on the line for this billionaire. And Jerry Jones. Ezekiel Elliott is putting his life on the line. And he wants to get paid fairly. And you're against that? Because you care about this team? At the end of the day, when the world goes to shit, you're not going to have a fucking team to root for. All you're going to have is your fellow man. Are you going to have his back or what? That's what this is all about. You fans ain't shit. A player does something, he's standing up for himself, and you're going to throw away, throw him away when he's like he's trash? Okay, when we start 0-2, 0-3, your bitch ass is going to be like, let's pay him. That's how it always is. You don't give a fuck about anybody but your fucking selves, and it's sickening. It's fucking sickening. Care about the man that is working his ass off, putting his life on the line, not some fucking billionaire. Get over yourself. God damn. Sorry, you guys. I just got so fucking pissed right there. I'm done. That's just my thoughts on the whole issue.